George here, and I'm going to teach you how to do a Yu-Gi-Oh deck this time. And you must be wondering, hey, then why am I doing a Yu-Gi-Oh deck and did Pokemon before? Well, I do other things, but I, I, I'm really good when it comes to the building stuff, and I usually do a lot of thinking. So, these decks came from two starter decks. I forgot which ones one of them was, but the, one of them's from a Dark World starter deck, and the other one's from a zombie deck. And I just put them together and hopefully it's turned out really well and I keep battling one of my friends but I keep losing but I it's decent deck I guess if you know how to use it. If you don't like it well I'm sorry but you're going to have to watch it anyways I guess. I mean you don't really have to but hey it works out right. Well so far I didn't count but I'll count on the way there so at one, two, three. Got 24 monsters, and I don't know how many Dark Worlds or Zombies I got, so we'll just go through it. We'll start with my level 1s. I have Surly Guru of the Dark World. He's a Dark level 1. I'll say his effect in a second. Sorry, he's shiny and holographic, so if you really can't see it. He's a Fiend and he's an effect. He's first edition. If this card is, is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, watch will summon this card from the graveyard to your opponent's side of the field and face up defense position. When this card is special summoned by the effect of a Dark World card, your opponent must discard one card. And this card was a little confusing. What this card did, what, what this card does, is when it's discarded from my hand to my opponent's side of the field, it is right here as a flash part of the effect counts as my opponent's card's effect, not mine. So when it's discarded on my side, my opponent's side of the field, I get to discard a card from my hand. We're just back practically what this deck's based upon. So now we're going to my. Oh, by the way, his attack is level. His attack is 100, and his defense is 300. Now we go to my level twos. Yes, I put these in order, so I didn't get mixed up or anything. Kaki Gorilla of Dark World. Most of my deck is dark, by the way. This is of course level two. Fiend has attack of 300, defense is 500. And its effect is, if this card is dis discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, target one monster on the field, then destroy that card. Getting what it looks like. So pretty, isn't it? Yes. Of course, I got sleeves, and you're wondering why I didn't put them in there, because it left shiny stuff on it, so it's kind of hard to look at. Grin, I guess what it's called. Tactician of Dark World. Fiend, of course. Attack 300, defense of 500. If this card is discarded... To the, the graveyard by a card effect, target one spell to trap card on the field and destroy that target. There you go. Maybe, maybe I should have brought it in closer here. Let me show you the second one. The one I had beforehand. I'm sorry about that, guys. I should do it. Hope. Okay, another one. Scar Scout. Well, Scar. Scout of the Dark World. It's a dark, it's a level 2. Fiend, when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, add one level 4 lower dike world monster from your deck to your hand. Attack is 500, defense is 500. My last level 2. Then we go to level 3s. Two of them. Spirit Reaper. Everyone should know this. If not, I will read it. He was. Level 3, Zombie. This card cannot be destroyed by battle. Destroy this card when it is targeted by the effect of a spell, trap, or effect monster. If this card actually attacks directly, your opponent randomly discards one card. Its attack is 300 and defense is 200. Yes. Um, Brow. Huntsmen of Dark Worlds. Level 3. Fiend type. If this card is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, draw one card. Plus another card if this card was discarded from your hand to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect. Attack is 1,400, defense is 800. So technically what with this deck is when you discard from your hand it gets parts of the attack, this effect sent. Well, what is, when your opponent discards it, and its effect is fully weld, so. Sorry, I got a small cold. Okay, we got some level 4s now. I got This is the most I have of them. Range, Gatekeeper of Dark Worlds, level 4. This is one of the two normals I have in this deck. Attack is 100, defense is 2,100. I'm not going to bother saying its little title down there, but if you want me to tell it, I will put it in the description below if you want, but I probably won't want to. Because it's a waste. I have two Pyramid Turtles. They're Earths. This is the only two I got in this deck, I think, are Earths. Zombie type. Attack is 1,200, defense is 1,400. 
When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one zombie type monster with 2,000 or less defense from your deck. Which means I can special summon monsters from my deck easily. Beige. Vanguard of Dark Worlds. Level 4. It's a fiend type. Attack is 1,600. Defense is 1,300. This card is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect. Special summon, some, special summon this card from the graveyard. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing the names incorrectly. But I is trying. So, yeah. Snow. Unlight of Dark World. It's a dark type. Fiend effect. Well, I didn't know why this effect was not anything. Oh, well. Attack is 1,700. Defense is 0. If this card is discarded to the to the graveyard by a card effect, if this was discarded from your hand to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, add one Dark World card from your deck to your hand, and special summon that target, if any, in face of defense position. Still learning this deck a bit, but it's kind of nice to have it. I mean, not have it, because I just took it all from a star deck. One deck I like and a few. I made made a friends deck and it's really good. I will do a um she had to build it later then. Lost train of thought there. Two zombie masters, level four. Zom it's a zombie type. Once per turn, you can send one monster card from your hand to the graveyard to special summon one level four or lower zombie type monster from either player's graveyard. It's attack is one thousand eight hundred, defense is zero. And I have two of them. Make it a little closer. There you go. <sighs> Sorry, it's an itchy there too. So it's got cold and it's itchies. So Brawn, Mad King of Dark World. It's a fiend. Has an attack of eight one thousand eight hundred and defense is four hundred. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can discard one card. So pretty. Look at it. Looks like me in a straight jacket. <sighs> Remember those old times. Zor Knights of Dark World. Fiend. That's another one of my other normals. Attack is 1,800. Defense is 1,500. My last normal, if I remember correctly. If not, well, I have horrible memory and I don't know my deck well, do I? Uh, level 5s. Don't know why I just stumbled there. Patrician of Darkness. Zombie. Attack at 2,000. And defense is 1,400. Effect that the controller of this card can select the targets of your opponent's attack. Huh, you know, I can. It's like my own opponent's attack monsters. Gold Wu Lord of Dark World. Uh, attack 2,300, defense is 1,400. This card is discarded to the graver by a card effect. If it was discarded from your hand to your graver by opponent's card effect, you can target up to two cards from your opponent's controls. Special summon this card from the graveyard, then destroy those cards. I said attack and defense. There you go. Silva, Warlord of Dark World. Level 5, Fiend. Attack is 2,300, defense is 1,400. This card is discarded to the graveyard by a card effect, so I'll just send this card from your graveyard. Then, if this card was discarded from your hand to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, your opponents return ex exactly two cards from hit their hand to their bottom of their deck in any order. Maybe mess up their ways, maybe. Just a little bit. Vampire Dragon. Card, it, it, I don't know why it's in here, but has a really high attack for a short this uh, sacrifice. Um, the vent zombie attack is 2,400, defense is zero. When this tr tribute summon card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one level four lower monster from your deck to your hand. Easy access to certain cards, and of course, you probably guys are thinking that's what she said. So you guys get over it. my only my level only level seven, I think. No, I got two of them. No, my level, my bad, level six. I can't count correctly for some odd reason. Got one of them. It's the only light monster in this deck, which is kind of funny because it's a zombie dark deck with dark world. So, Malevolent Mech Goku N. Two thousand four hundred attack and defense one thousand four hundred. It's a zombie type. You could normal summon this card without tributing. If you do, this card is sent to the graveyard during the end phase. It if this is the only zombie type monster on the field. When it was sent to the graveyard by this effect, you take damage equal to its attack. So don't summon this card without another card on the field unless you're in desperate times. So, got some level 7, so yeah, level 8. It's level 7. 
Can't count anymore. I'm dead right now, so derp. Red Eye Zombie Dragon. Um, attack is 2400, defense is 2000. You can tribute some summon this card and face up attack position by tributing one zombie monster with zombie type monster. When this card destroys a zombie type monster by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon that monster to your side of the field. Good to get cards on your side of the field for sacrificing, says sacrificing your own. So keep those and that keep that in mind. Rain Books, I think it is. I don't know. I'll still pronounce it however I feel like, and if I said it wrong, I'm sorry. Overlord of Dark World. It's a fiend. Still attack this with life 100. Defense is 1,800. If this card is discarded from your hand to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, special summon this card from the graveyard. When this card is special summoned, this way destroy all monsters your opponent controls or all spell trap cards, spell or trap cards from your cards they control. Either way, you're going to do some damage. What I'm going to do, guys, is I guess I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to do the spell and trap cards next in the next video because I don't have much time. But don't worry, I will do it. Grapha, Dragon Lord of Dark World. Attack is 2,700 and defense is 1,800. This is a long effect, so bear with me. You can special summon this card from your graveyard by returning one face up Dark World monster you control your hand, except for Grapha, Dragon Lord of Dark World. Seems like all cards say that if you have more than this card, so you can't really use it. Yeah, oh well. If this card is discarded to the to the graveyard by a card effect, target one card your opponent controls. Destroy that target. Then if this card was discarded from your hand to your graveyard by an opponent's card effect, look at one random crap. Got something on the card. One random card in your opponent's hand. Then if it was a monster, you can sort of summon it from to your side of the field. It's a big monster. He'll eat you. Almost like Mr. Slender. Except this one has a face. Mm, nah. Okay, we got Rainbow Dark Dragon. This is a card that I pulled out of a booster pack in its first edition, which is pretty cool. It's all holographic and shiny. Like shiny, don't we, guys? 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 It's like off of RPG. Ducks love, love RPGs. Yeah, ducks love RPGs. I can't talk today. Okay, his attack is 4,000 and defense is 0. Oh, by the way, that last card was level 8. I forgot to show you that. This one's, I think, is level 10. So, it's a dragon. The only dragon card in my deck. This card cannot be normal summoned or set. Must be special summoned from your hand by banishing 7 dark monsters with different names from your graveyard. And cannot be special summoned by other ways. You can banish all other dark monsters you control and... And from your graveyard, this card gains 500 attack for each card managed this way. It's a pretty card, isn't it? I told you it was shiny. Holographic and first edition. Well, that's up for this part. Part one, I guess. I should probably put that in the title, which I will. Monsters first, and I'll do my spells and trap cards next. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. If not, hit the dislike button and tell me why. I'll... Try to see if I can make something better, even though I'm using what the crappy laptop thing it doesn't work. But, and, um, I'll hopefully never get a camera recorder. I'll start doing some other stuff with my Xbox, as I got on right now. And, I'll see what I can do. So, this is all for this one. I will post the other video in a few minutes, hopefully. Maybe, that's 15. So, I guess I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye.